I choose to speak openly because there is nothing wrong with mental illness. It's not something that happened to me because I am a bad person. It's not something that happened to me because I'm being punished. It's just, it's just an illness which I am managing. And maybe I should be even proud of it because I have this yet I go to work, I go to um, classes, I enjoy myself, I have family, I have friends. It's important for me to speak up. It's because I find that advocacy is not only about managing mental illness. It's even more important to prevent mental illness. You feel that your family, your relatives all don't understand what is happening to you and they they rather not speak about it like as if there's there's something stinking in the room but nobody wants to talk about it, you know, so it's like that is part of the stigma. I embrace my illness because to me it's a gift. Because it, it made me see the world in so different light. Club Hill was formed as a quest to fill up the gaps in services towards people with mental health challenges and their caregivers. As a caregiver and a healthcare provider myself, I find that there's still a lot of stigma attached to mental illness. A lot of caregivers out there are not empowered and the community as a whole are still not accepting of people with mental health challenges. In Club Hill, we have a three-tiered approach. Firstly, we help people with mental health challenges in their recovery journeys through our programs and services. Secondly, we help empower caregivers through psychoeducation and counselling. And thirdly, we want to educate the public about mental health matters in order to eradicate stigma. Mental health issues does not, uh, is not a respecter of your race, your social status, your educational background, your wealth. It doesn't matter. It's going to strike anybody and everybody. I think I've, I do have uh, family members who've got mental health issues. I do have friends. I do have colleagues, you know, and I've seen how it affects them. And so I understand very, very intimately, lah, really, what are the issues confronting us and why we need to overcome this. Harapan saya ialah jangan putus asa. Uh, antara saya, walaupun saya sebagai penjaga adik saya, saya tak akan berputus asa untuk jaga saya sampai akhir hayat saya, insya Allah. Saya berhenti kerja sebab saya rasa dia perlukan perhatian, perlukan apa sokongan, Bila saya dah masuk ke lahir, saya belajar tentang motivasi ini semua. Ini semua hik ada hikmahnya lah. Apa yang ada dalam masalah-masalah gini, insya Allah mesti boleh dapat diatasi. Ya. Dia mengajar saya erti kasih sayang, uh, tanggungjawab, tanggungjawab saya kepada kakak yang untuk adik saya. Kasih sayang yang tak boleh bagi lah. Dia tak ada mak. Uh, uh, mak dah tak ada, bapa tak ada. Jadi kawan-kawan kat kelab hari tu kita anggap macam adik beradik, macam keluarga lah. Rasa sekarang dah tenang lah. Jaga orang kakak kan. Eh. Kacak kata seorang je. Thank goodness to all. For oh my caca. Empowerment means not looking down on anyone because everyone can be empowered. Everyone of us can be can do something good. We just have to find their strength. I think I became a better person through my illness. It was a journey. For me, I find that whatever happened in my life is the one thing that gave me purpose and my purpose is to help people like me. It's a reminder for me to see like the beauty in the breakdown or the triumph in the tragedy. Because when I started work, I saw for myself um, the clients, the peers here and I see how they enjoy coming here. I see how they appreciate the staff, the little differences that Club Hill make in their lives. When we don't have acceptance, we have no sense of control. Sometimes I feel that when there's no acceptance, the healing process will take a longer time. It's very important for people to talk about mental health because to normalise it, 
you know, normal life said that it's not something strange, it's not something too different. To be frank, the journey was really tough. It's very hard. She was very independent. She's very independent. She works herself, she goes to study herself, everything. It's right when her best friend passed away, actually two and a half, two and a half years ago. I should say to all caregivers, please, dementia is not a major illness. If you really love your uh, loved one, bring forward and bring them to the rehab centre, especially to Club Hill. For caregivers, I understand absolutely, completely their struggle. It is a tr truly draining experience and I have great respect for them. I have tremendous respect for caregivers because if one member of the family has got mental health issues, it affects the whole family. So start with acceptance, then secondly, you progress to helping the person in order to get treatment, giving the support, and finally just give your uh, undying love and support to them. I think that's what they need more than anything else. Yeah. To feel welcome, to feel appreciated, that to me is love. One thing Club Pew does is Club Pew listen. Solving that problem at the time wasn't what I wanted. Having someone to share my problem was. Yeah, I was diagnosed with bipolar, so my bipolar is a type 1 bipolar and it's very extreme. I've been in this condition for 12 years. Yeah, and I'm working on it, but it's only now, these 12 years, that I actually found my way with my diagnosis, with my disorder. I can only give a support to someone else if I have the support. I want to work in Club U because I want to help others. But at the same time, I want to help myself in my recovery. Club U is a very small organisation, but it's a team. One point of time, my husband, uh, uh, he just committed, he just fall down uh, from uh, the block with my son. Yeah, and it was quite hard to know about the tragedy and uh, I was out of control, like I, I couldn't accept the tragedy. So I was admitted in the hospital for the post-traumatic depression. When I was in a in a very emotional state, I just opened the uh, Quran and I got this verse, uh, God never forsaken me. So I had the hope, it's a positive hope from the Quran, which made me to get up again in my life. And I used to attend the talks conducted at Club Hill, which motivated me to move further in my life. Whatever uh, tragedy or whatever uh, difficulties comes in your life, you just embrace it and move forward. As a para-counsellor, um, most of the clients I'm dealing with is one who has depression because they lost their loved ones. So I go there, I talk to them, I share my story with them. When I came to Club Hill, I found that more people need love. I'm also one who lost the loved ones. I also need love. So when I come here, I get love. Uh, the main challenges, I think, is the stigma that among the communities, even stigma among the clients and caregivers. Yes, we do see clients reintegrated into society. I always emphasize hope is hold on, pain ends. So you know what I will tell them, our clients, look, you hold on, whatever you're going through, let us hold your hands, give us time, then you manage slowly, you learn certain skills. You take the whole village or the whole kampong to assist someone who's going through their difficult times. I'm always amazed by people, the volunteers, uh, staff, like uh, those working in Club Hill, volunteers in Club Hill. I think it's amazing work because it's very difficult. I would like to see a society where someone with mental health illness can say that, look, you know, I'm ill. I have uh, mental health issues. I need help, I need support. And nobody will look at them in a negative way. So I hope that's the kind of society that we are when we talk about caring, compassionate. So when we support what Club Hill is doing, we are supporting ourselves. And I'm sure they've got many more good years to do their work. Uh, it shows that their heart is in the right place and that's important. Supporting Club Hill means supporting yourself. 
because Clark Hill supports you. Supporting Club Hill means uh, supporting persons with mental health issues by empowering them and giving them confidence to move forward in their lives. Supporting Club Hill means supporting life. Supporting Club Hill means supporting yourself. Mental health issues are real and I urge everyone out there to find out more about it. Do get involved with your hands, your words and your heart. To people with mental health challenges, we love you, you're not alone. <laughs>